My name is Justin Fix, and I am uh, I'm the co-founder of uh, JFI Productions with this uh, gentleman over here. My name is JT Swarczyk. I'm also a co-founder, uh, and I am one of the producers. And we've been uh, producing a show for the last eight weeks in downtown LA called House of Creep, which was this open world sandbox style sort of art gallery, but in a, in a heightened sense. So guests would roll into this world uh, to participate and view and engage with living and both static art. Um, so it was a 75 minute experience that you as a guest had the agency to choose where you went, kind of the choose your own adventure, right? Um, whatever path you led, whatever characters you would engage with and interact with sort of led you to a different story or to a different secret that sort of unfolded the entire narrative, uh, which was House of Creep. Part of the show is you're coming to an art gallery and, uh, and art opening, so part of that is to have real art and be a real gallery. So tonight is all about giving, you know, auctioning off some of those arts. Some of the people that came for the show loved some of the pieces, so they were able to purchase it and then get together and celebrate just being part of the, the show and, and interacting with our, our uh, actors and, and everyone that's part of the show, so it's really exciting. Yeah, I would say it's our, our first time of going surface level of coming in and seeing a show, but also getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Every business card's phone number actually had something that went on. Every phone that you pick up had something on the other end. So depending on the level that the guests wanted to explore, we, we went right there with them. So it was really fun. It was exciting. Stephanie Belziri uh, coming into this thing, you know, we wanted to create a real, true, sort of interactive, but art gallery experience. And so we built we built this beautiful world and then we're like, well, we gotta fill the we gotta fill all these gallery walls with like art and like art that like actually was current but like dark and spoke to people so Stephanie knocked out I think a total of like 18 original pieces that were hanging on our walls and we just knew that at the end of it we were like what are we gonna do with all these amazing limited special pieces of art uh, we're gonna auction them off so like we did in our show uh, character Charles would actually do a live auction and we were like would it be fun at the end of this thing if we could actually like do a kind of a rap party, open up a, our house and make it an open house, celebrate spooky season with the community, all our fellow haunters, and be able to, uh, you know, truly give give our funds back to an artist who has given us so much. And so we kind of, we, we pulled this together and it was a beautiful celebration and a kind of honoring a great five years we've had uh, doing Creep LA in Los Angeles. Uh, I guess only time can tell. I think we're going to expand into not just being a October style uh, show. We have a lot of exciting things that are coming, but it may just be throughout the year. So um, be ready to kind of celebrate who we are as a brand and, and, and explore other opportunities. I think that we're just now entering a world where we've, we've got an audience that trusts us a little bit and understands what we do. And so we want to try to take them on an adventure that may not always be in October. It was really special. I think House of Creep was probably the least seasonal show we've ever done. It was like the least spooky, you know, it was like the least like, um, I guess, Halloween driven show. And I think it, it spoke to basically like the types of stories we want to tell that can break out of the sort of September, October calendar. And I think with like a past IP that we've done, like the Willows, like we're continuing to try to think like much like you, like Halloween every day. Like, come on, let's do it. Like. The, the dark, the macabre, the weird, the bizarre, the suspense, the startle, the scare, like, it's in our wheelhouse, it's the stories we like to tell, and I think, um, you know, we we got into this business because we love Halloween, and I always joke, like, I don't feel like we've gotten to enjoy Halloween for, like, the last five years because we've been producing wonderful shows, um, but I think, uh, I think, yeah, we're just trying to maybe break the norm and maybe bring a, bring a show back that could, like, fall outside of the norm.